Hello everyone, so today we're gonna look at a problem from functions. This question was asked in previous ITJ screening papers. So let's start. So our problem is g of g is a one function for which g of 5 by 4 this initial condition is given as g of 5 by 4 is equal to 1. Then we have to calculate this composite function g of f of x for which f of x is given f of x is given as sine square of x plus sine square of x plus pi by 3 plus cos of x into cos of x plus pi by 3. So let's start. So our question is we have g of 5 by 4 is equal to 1 and we have to calculate this composite function g of f of x. So we have to calculate this composite function. Now in order to calculate this composite function I'll be needing both of the function. Here only one function is given f of x and here g of x is missing. So g of x is not given here but one value is given g of 5 by 4 is given as 1. Now the only thing I can do here is I can determine the nature of f of x. Either it's increasing function or a decreasing function or a constant function. So I have two ways. Either I can differentiate this function or I can simplify given that it's in the trigonometric form all the terms contain trigonometric ratios. I can simplify this. So I've decided to follow with trigonometric ratios. So I can simplify this expression as f of x. Once I simplify I'll get to know what is the value of g of f of x. So let's see. So f of x is sine square, sine square and cos of x multiplied by cos of x plus pi by 3. So from here I've decided to reduce the power and convert everything into cos. So we have one formula for which sine square of x I can write this in the terms of cos 2x. So this is one, nothing but 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2. Plus similarly I can write this sine square x plus pi by 3 in the terms of cos 2x. So 1 minus cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3 whole divided by 2. Now here I can apply cos c cos d formula. So I'll multiply and divide by 2 in order to get the formula of cos c plus cos d. So I'll get this as x plus x plus pi by 3 that is 2x plus pi by 3 plus cos of x plus pi by 3 minus of x is pi by 3 and whole multiplied by 1 by 2. As you can see here I've multiplied and divided by 2. So let's start with f of x. So f of x we can simplify as you can see here 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 gives us 1. I'm collecting the constant term plus one more constant term is there that is 1 by 2 multiplied with cos pi by 3. Cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. Plus the remaining I'll write here. So I can do here one thing is I can take negative common. So if I take negative common I'll get this as cos 2x plus cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3. As you can see these two are multiplied by 1 by 2 so I'll multiply by half here and the last term is cos of 2x plus pi by 3. Since I've taken negative outside so this positive term will be converted as negative. So minus cos 2x plus pi by 3. I got this. Now here f of x will be equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 that is 5 by 4 minus half and I'll get this as cos 2x. Let's keep this as it is cos 2x and we'll simplify this term, these two terms. So here I'll apply cos c minus cos d formula. So if I apply cos c minus cos d formula, I'll get two terms here. That is 2 sine c plus d divided by 2. c and d are the angles. So c plus d divided by 2, that is 4x divided by 2, 2x plus 2 pi by 3 plus pi by 3 is pi and divided by 2. So I got this. And one more angle that is sine of d minus c divided by 2. d is this angle and c is this angle. So this angle minus this angle divided by 2. So 2x and 2x will cancel out. I'll get this as pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 is minus pi by 6. So I got this. Now again I'll write f of x as 5 by 4 minus half. Now I'll try to simplify this term. So first is cos 2x as it is. And here I can see sine of minus pi by 6 is minus half. So minus half and 2 will gives us 1. So minus of 1. And we get sine of 2x plus pi by 2. Now we know this term sine of pi by 2 plus theta. Sine of pi by 2 plus any theta gives us cos of x and this term is nothing but cos of 2x. So this term is equivalent to cos of 2x. I can write this as cos of 2x. So this will be minus cos of 2x. So cos 2x and minus cos 2x will cancel out and I'll get f of x as 5 by 4 here. So f of x turned out to be a constant function 
Now we can calculate easily calculate this composite function g of f of x. Now g of f of x, this composite function is let's put the value of f of x here. So g of 5 by 4 and g of 5 by 4 it's given in the equation that is equal to 1. So it turned out to be this composite function is also a constant function. So our final answer is g of 5 by 4 is equal to 1 and that will be all.